And now we have a story regarding Asia's richest man. Now, weeks after announcing that he was splitting his empire into two, Li Kaxing surprised the market again with a confirmed bid for UK mobile firm O2. That further stoked speculation that he is divesting himself out of Hong Kong and the Chinese mainland. CCTV's Kathy Yan reports. Less than two weeks after splitting his empire into two, Asia's richest man shocks investors with his proposed bid for British mobile phone operator O2, which, if completed, would become Li's biggest acquisition at 15 billion U.S. dollars. The deal would easily trump Li's purchase of UK power networks in 2010. The proposed deal sent Lee's Hutchison Wampoa shares to close above 100 Hong Kong dollars last Friday for the first time since September. The market believes the, the deal itself creates a lot of synergies. For uh, the first of all, uh, two, uh, two telecom companies combined together will, will become the biggest payers in the UK. Lee's latest European deal has renewed talk. He is divesting himself out of Hong Kong and the mainland, an allegation he has repeatedly denied. The proposed O2 deal, though, has widened opinions in the investing community. There are now those who believe the size of this latest deal speaks for itself. It makes good business sense. So uh, you look at uh, one of its most successful companies in recent years, Hong Kong Infrastructure. It's basically investing in the infrastructure plays in Europe and, and, and it's making a lot of money. Here in Hong Kong, Lee's Hutchison dominate businesses in electric utilities, ports and supermarkets. On the other hand, his property business extends beyond Hong Kong and into the mainland. But prices have since peaked, leaving Lee's property business an unattractive bet for investors. For Sam Chi Yung of Delta Asia, which owns Hutchison shares, Lee's latest move is merely part of the overall business cycle. We can see that uh, uh, Lee's family seems uh, a bit uh, bearish on the public side after after collapse or, or after correction uh, the, the Lee's family will also back to the public uh, business. It is not the first time Lee has sold high and bought low. In 2000, Lee sold Orange UK at the height of the dot-com bubble. The next 10 years saw him building out his property portfolio in both Hong Kong and on the mainland. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.